guess we'll fight. How's this? Try this one! How's this? Cavalry! Now this is my style. How to spin. How's this? You're gone! How's this? Take this! <laughs> I got a little worked up. These are the threads. Challenge at all. Don't get careless. This is the same phenomenon we saw at Heliord. 
The air is weaker than it was there, but there's no mistaking it. That monster looks just like the ones that attacked Dongrast. Here it comes. this forest. I can't believe there's a place like this in the forest. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? We have to get them before they get us. So it's a little tough. Let's just get it over with. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives if we aren't careful. Dividing edge! How's this? Severing bank! Destruction field! Crap. This isn't good. feel good. You can't relax yet. The trees, the monsters. It's got to be the air that's causing this. There's more of them! Ah, so this is the end. Uh, farewell, all my dear fans the world over. I'll make sure your gravestone reads... Here lies the world's biggest sap. You're supposed to say stuff like, we can make it through this together. There. You, like, slice through the air, but... but that's impossible! What good would that knowledge do you? Well, I mean, with something like that, we might be able to stop the Blastia from going berserk. 
We saw that happen to Aplastia. The air was out of control. We couldn't do anything. This was only a distortion. It is a natural occurrence. Distortion? Um, thank you so much for helping us. Do not go near the air, Krenne. Huh? What do you mean, air Krenne? This place? Air Krenne are the springs from which all air in the world comes. Springs of air? Who are you? This isn't the kind of place you just go for a walk. Hm. We would have been dead without your help, though. Thanks. That power... Could it be the Rizomata formula? I can't tell anything from checking things out here. I have to see some others. Hey, didn't that guy earlier say these were all over the world? Yeah, he did. We won't know anything solid until we find them and study them. So, I guess we're finished looking into things here? Yeah, let's get back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn. We could get out of here already. Don't get so flustered, boy. We'll get out of here nice and easy, you'll see. Not everyone leads a carefree life of unicorns and rainbows like you, you know. Life is a lot like this forest. Winding paths, intertwining. Ah, this forest is really relaxing. Come on, let's leave our philosopher behind and get a move on. Listen to what I've got to say! So you mean we're lost in the forest of life? Oh, so you get what I'm saying. Before we find our way out of the forest of life, we need to find our way out of this one. I'll lead. I have found direction in this life more times than... Hey, wait! I'm not done yet!
this air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, then it might not be only this forest that's affected. You sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Uh, what? Another monster attack? Carol, keep your head down. Something. Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off. What did you do? Yuri, it must be because we stopped the flow of the air. The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air. Runaway air? Hmm. Hey, old man, do you know something? Well, my old friend Bellius used to say something about it. So it's true that Don and Bellius are friends. Who is Bellius? The Duce, who rules the Colosseum of Nordopolica. Nordopolica? And what's with that runaway air? It was really amazing. More and more really strong monsters kept on coming, but we... Boy... Those are the sorts of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. I'm... I'm sorry. Excuse me, could I see him for a moment? What? You can use healing arts. Thank you. Mm. Ain't that raven over there? Quit hiding, you! <laughs> Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing. Mine especially. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow, that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps! Cut that out! Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Quite the strapping young lad, aren't you? What's your name? I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Yuri, eh? So you must be the leader here. Uh, excuse me, Gramps. Anybody home? There ain't been too many lively youngsters around here lately. So I've grown bored. I'll listen to you. But in exchange, you gotta indulge me for a bit. Jeez, what a time for that old geezer's bad habit. What are you talking about? Whenever he finds someone who shows a little backbone, he just has to test them. Test? Test what? Their strength, of course. Exactly. Now, come and indulge an old man in his innocent hobby. No, 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 no. You can count me out. Hey, he just took off. All right. An opportunity to face the head of a guild isn't the kind of thing that comes along every day. <laughs> That's the spirit. Show me what you got. so old, then retire and drink tea in peace. Sorry, but that's really not my style. All right.
done yet. Feast! Shadow Blade! Rosary! Damn it! Shadow Blade! Just getting started. Well, that's enough. After all, if we keep this up, this is gonna turn into a real battle. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. All right, I'll hear you out now. Done. Sorry to interrupt. Ah, uh, I see. All right, you dogs. Time to head out. Sorry about this, but something's come up. We gotta return to Dongrest. If you come by the Union, you'll have my ear first chance I get. If I have your word, that's fine by me. Hmm. You're not nervous at all to talk to me. You all would make a good addition to our guild. I was giving him everything I got in that fight, though. Hmm, a guild, huh? We're gonna make one, right? We'll see. So, what do you think? Y'all finally get a taste of how awesome I am? I sure didn't notice you being too awesome out there. Always so quick to criticize. All right, I'd like to go back to Dongress to meet with Adon and keep looking for Barbos. Rita, once Yuri's done with his business, we should go back to report. Rita? Oh, what was that? Once Yuri's done, we should go back to report to Alexei. Is something the matter? N no it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. Just who was that strange person with the sword anyway? Do you think he came to Cave Mock all by himself? There are so many monsters around. Judging by the way he was standing, he's pretty confident in his own abilities. He seemed calm or even, like, meditative. Well, whatever. He was a strange guy. Yeah, I have no idea what was up with him at all. see how a man like that could rise to the top of the Union. It's pretty impressive. I'm just relieved he's the sort of person who's willing to listen. 
I didn't think he'd give us a chance, considering that he's never met us before. That's what makes the Don so great! I told you, right? Man, he's so cool! Do you run his fan club or something? Raven was a member of Altosk. It looked like he and the Don were close. The old man probably has a pretty important job. Yeah. It's hard to believe, but he's probably one of Altosk's top officers. The fact that he can leave town on guild business shows the Don trusts him. That old man. You can't judge a book by its cover, Rita. Fishier and fishier. back, have you? Yuri. What? You two know each other? Yes. We're old friends. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Now then, what business did you have? Uh... We came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. You have a problem with him too? We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos's example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. Barbos? <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Since we'll be cooperating with you, I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. <laughs> if that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Hey, send the message to Bellius. 
<laughs> Tell Bellius that Nora Pollock is going to help us. Man, this is serious. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Read it aloud. If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. What? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? What is this? Looks like you and the young master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap. Flynn! Why would you... Hang on. If we screw up, it'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> war with the Empire. We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital. Try and make a fool out of me. I'll tear these little messengers limb from limb. And it looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I... I suppose you're right. I cannot believe that Yoder would give a letter like that to Flynn. There must be some mistake. We've met His Highness too, and he certainly didn't seem like that kind of person. But you heard the letter! It said to take Don Whitehorse out of the picture! So maybe it was sent by someone who wants to throw a wrench into what Yoder and Flynn are doing. But that's nothing more than a hunch right now. Yeah, you're right. The only thing we know for sure right now is that Flynn is in trouble.
What's the matter, Yuri? It looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You would... Okay. Don't take too long. Alrighty. Now to go see how Flynn's holding up. being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. <laughs> I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> You've got to stay here. What? And be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back, you'll have to die in my place. Yeah. Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son? This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? If I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you were on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. 
But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So, if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is, and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or, you can turn your back on the Empire, and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear cut. Yep. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find them? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. That sounds like her. Through. Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial bastards to look down on us! Oh, Yuri! Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The Don told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad. Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean. What else? I saw them. You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now. Just what the Dawn wanted. Let's catch up with Rita. Yeah. Don, Yuri. You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? No, it's nothing like that. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Don planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Don and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now the Don's making me do his dirty work. What a pain. Rita. Yes! Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there... Then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. It's you again. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay. But the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to... Oh, come on. You sound like you think I'm gonna trick you. Well, you have tricked us before. I can handle getting tricked a couple times. But there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way.
are coming through. What is this place? Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully. Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barbos... Easy now. Haste makes waste. What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! That's exactly what it is. And our plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? I won't know that until it's all over. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Oh, crap! And I was totally planning on skipping town. I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? You've got some nerve, old man. Rita, isn't there something you can do? Hmm, nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied. Like Lux Blastia. Huh. Really? You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? <clears throat> hmm. Is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. Whoa! Isn't that thing gonna explode? Are we okay? Of course it's not going to explode. This is a type of Lux Blastia. It uses that device to charge air and light up. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Let's get moving while we've still got light. What's up, Pupper? You need something? It's dark, so you'll get lost if you stray too far. Thanks for worrying about me, lass, but I'll be fine. It's so dank in here. I hope we don't have to stay too long. It may be dank, but at least the bustle is gone. I prefer the quiet of these tunnels. Uh, right. I'll never be able to keep up with your sensitivities. <laughs> oh, repeat. Do you know where Raven went? Hey, Poochie! Where'd you... Ugh, ow! Ah. There goes the quiet you were talking about. Yes, well, I've become accustomed to it. Stop jabbering about customs and help an old man out. Will they? 
We shouldn't have anything to worry about. <sighs> the light! We need to charge up some air before it goes out. What the? monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack there's no way any monster is that smart perhaps they're weak against light or something there are monsters like that there are indeed creatures that live in dark places such as caverns in the ocean floor sometimes have an aversion for light and work hard to avoid it. Oh, right. So that's why they did- Oh, there's another one of those machines! Oh, how interesting. So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice. <laughs> this over with. here words what is this long ago our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people and thus became the true defenders of freedom 
That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey, isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Don came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they'd split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. Oh yeah, that infamous King of the Pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally. But he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now. Let's go. swords for freedom, huh? The Union Oath, right? Fighting for personal freedom instead of draconian imperial law sounds good to me. If you feel that way, maybe the guilds are right for you, Yuri. Huh? Yeah, I wasn't cut out to be a knight. <coughs> huh? You agree, Repeat? <coughs> the guilds, huh?
get this over with.
tavern in the eastern part of town used by Barbos as a hideout. Basically, it's the place you guys were trying to sneak into. Then Barbos is somewhere around here? Looks like there's a second floor. Let's see what's up there. slightest idea what you're talking about. The Tower and the Blastia, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? What? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your own employer? You even went so far as to use Leviathan's claw for help! I'm not your lapdog, Rago. I just gathered the cores together, like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather-controlling Blastia. And just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra cores? Our mutual non-interference was a condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Barbos, how dare you! You will leave now, Magistrate. Remember this, Barbos. Black-hearted filth like you always get what they deserve in the end. You want to talk, Rago? You guys! It's the World Series of Villains, and you had to take the best seat in the house? What fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? Oh, -ho! if it isn't the little runts I met on the ship. You're the one who's been causing all of the recent chaos. And what of it? You fools will never manage to capture me. Oh, yeah? What's your reasoning there? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. That's why he thinks the way he does. If so, then that makes you quite a villain, Yuri. Yep, I'm nefarious. So we're rebelling, huh? You're a real troublemaker, you know that? You've got a big mouth, brat. You would dare to oppose me? I thought I told you before that next time you wouldn't get off so easy. All the better for us to tear things up. Take them down! Ha <laughs> ha! The fools have started to march! Now that meddlesome Don and the Knights will destroy each other! He did this to destroy the Union, and to eliminate the Dawn! If the Knights are destroyed, who will protect the Empire? Rago, why would you... Oh... Of course! He's gonna weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire! And he's gonna use the Blood Alliance to seize Altosk and rule over the Union. Oh my! The Knights and the Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. <laughs> so what if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle. <laughs> we'll see. And your existence comes to an end here. Damn it, he's too late. Flynn! Stop! All of you! Sheath your blades! Sheath them! I am 
Flynn Shifo of the Imperial Knights. I have come bearing a letter from Master Yoder. The letter you received from the Empire was false. It was the work of a rebel. Draw back your armies at once. I thought you weren't coming back. And leave Yuri behind to take the fall for me? I wouldn't dream of it. Rago, you fool! You didn't keep up your end of the bargain. Don't hurt me! Damn! Yuri! They're aiming at Flynn! Got him! Nice shot, Carol! You brats! Think you can stop me? Get out of here! Head for the exit! Yuri, no! It's too dangerous! It should take time for the air to recharge. I'll try and stop him before then. Now! You're too late! No! It charged up too quickly! world is that? Oh, so you're back for more, Dragon Freak? Rita, knock it off. Our enemy's over there. My enemy is this Dragon Freak. Leave it alone for now. Hmm. I'm gonna make you wish you hadn't done that. What? He can fly? Oh, so the boss is heading for the hills, huh? If you're going after him, let me come with you. We're a little short on wings around here. Are you crazy? This jerk's our enemy. No matter what happens, I've got to catch that guy. Come on. Yes, thanks. Wait, what about us? This guy is overloaded enough as it is. What should we... You guys hold down the fort here. What? Stay out of trouble. Damn it, Yuri! And let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while. So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. You... You've destroyed the blast here! Hey, are you okay? Bastards!
Come on, we're just getting started. Ha! My men won't have any trouble taking care of a brat like you. Now rip him to pieces! Now shut up for a while. What's the deal? Please, I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. That's enough. Damn it. A woman? And she's Christian? Are you all right? <laughs> Sorry. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes. My friend. Oh, you mean that monster? So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? <sighs> Not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right. I'm not all that impressed. So that's why you mashed up Barmus's Blastia, too. Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Okay, then.
So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Ah! Oh, that is it! That's enough! I've had it up to here with you! Somebody get me away from this psycho! So I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson, huh? even i'm yuri yuri lowell judith judith uh, judy's easier to say fine by me all right on to the next objective next well we could check out the blasty on the roof all we have to do is go up won't your friends be waiting for you i don't mind taking care of the blasty first up we go then and how exactly do we go up this is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. A princess? Never mind. There's got to be a way up around here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Hey, why were you wearing that stuffy-looking suit of armor? Oh, you didn't like it? It's pretty sturdy and protects my body quite nicely. See? Look at this beautiful skin, free of bruises and blemishes. Very nice. I'm actually worried where my eyes might wander. You don't look all that worried to me. I've just got a good poker face. So you're okay? You don't mind leaving your armor behind? It's sturdy, but it's heavy. Walking around with that on tires me out. Hey, no complaints here. I prefer eye candy to scary armor any day. This is my weapon. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Was that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it, too. Thank you.
Looks like we can't go any higher. We can what the? Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey, you're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this, and... It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you could move other levers with that, too. You think it's okay? I'm afraid it might blow up or something. If it happens, it happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. from someone? Hmm, I guess you could call it a present. Well, well, looks like you're quite the ladies' man. No, 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 I'm just a big sucker. Oh? It's amazing enough the ring holds power, but it even reacts to air and becomes stronger. You must have a very strong bond with the girl who gave that to you. Well, that's one bond I wouldn't mind breaking. limit by any chance sure yeah okay then try this huh what's this the limit duo your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful over limits oh yeah if your battle spirit is the real thing so what else can you tell me about these strong over limits you can produce more power when attacking alone is that so i still don't quite get it Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get moving then. Let's get this over with. this over with.
Them. Huh. Looks like you guys have things under control. Yuri! Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, will you? Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. You worry too much. I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Hey. Just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. Well, I for one was worried sick. Yeah, right. Why would you bother coming all the way out here anyway? It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. This lovely Critian B, is she a princess? Laying it on a little thick there, old man. This is Judith, and we were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise, but we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great... Old man. It's Raven. R-A-V-E-N. Raven! You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. That didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Ooh. I think she likes me. Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. <sighs> Were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? Nope, not this time either. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower. Are you all right? Flynn? What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, 
so things have calmed down. There is no longer any worry of conflict. My people have secured Rago's subordinates, and the Union has neutralized the town's mercenaries. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness, it's terribly dangerous, so please stay here with Yuri and the others. It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up, we've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just gonna go after you anyway. Yuri. <sighs> Very well. Then we'll go together. There isn't much time, and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. What is it, old man? Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you a little old for hide-and-seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me. your weapon? No, I was just thinking about how different axes and swords feel to use. Mm -hmm. Ah, you use both swords and axes, don't you? Yeah, but my arts change depending on which I use. It's not a problem or anything, but... Hmm. Well, I think you look cooler when you're using axes, Yuri. It makes you look stronger, too. Really? I prefer Yuri when he's using swords myself. You should just use one in each hand. <laughs> Give me a break.
So you use a spear, too. Oh, do you know someone who also uses a spear? Eh, well, not quite. It just reminds me of some jerk. Are you talking about that dragon rider? Yeah. Hey, don't you have something you need to tell me? What? Me? Yes. So where is the dragon freak now? We got separated up on the roof. I'm pretty sure he wasn't too badly hurt. Good. Because I can't very well beat him up if he's already injured. Whoa, whoa. That's the whole reason you came here? No! I also can't forgive this Barbos guy for abusing Blastia like that. Has he no shame? That's no reason to bring the princess along with you to a dangerous place like this. Flynn, why didn't you stop her? My apologies. We must have missed each other in Dongrest. So that's why she panicked and chased after you? It's not Rita or Flynn's fault. I decided to come here myself. I couldn't let you go all by yourself. Besides, I can't watch bad people doing harm to others and simply let it happen. I agree. Very well said. Your Highness. Captain Carroll, don't let me down. I'm counting on your skills. Yes, of course! Come on, let's go take that jerk to school. Sorry, but would you mind keeping your background to yourself? We've got someone who might kind of explode if she knew. Sure, I understand. That'll be best for both of our interests. You think we might cut down on the battles a bit? This old man can't take it for much longer. Really? We haven't been fighting any more than usual. Yeah, but keeping up with your youthful pace is killing me. Perhaps we should go with the pace of someone older and slower? Who are you calling older and slower? Don't worry. You're still young and full of life. Ah, yes. I'm glad you understand me at least, Judith, honey. He was the one who called himself an old man. Cut him some slack, Carol. People his age get sensitive about these things. Okay. Yay! Good job. 
mistake. I should have moved right then. Damn it! Somebody shut this old man up. What mistake did you make? Oh, you sweet girl. Thank you for listening. If I just met that pretty and honey before Yuri, the two of us would be off together just... Ha! Whoa! Go easy on him, Rita. You got a problem. Uh-uh. I guess the old man couldn't care less about me. Um, well, I'm glad you weren't hurt, Yuri. <laughs> Thanks. Lack of devotion. You're as stiff as ever. That's why you... Yes, indeed. Hey!
course we can do this. too well with people, though. Don't let it get to you. I'm Judith. Nice to meet you. <sighs> hey, why is he letting Judith pet him? Maybe the little pup's a fan of pretty girls. But I'm a pretty girl, too! My, my. Why doesn't he like me? This floor is set up the same way as the one below. So that means we've got some gears to move. What do you think they're protecting with all these different layers of devices? Maybe it's just their pride as a guild.
I did. Sodia and the others were busy arresting me to keep her going, so I'm on my own. Should a lieutenant leave his subordinates when they have a duty like that? Well, it's very much in Flynn's style. <laughs> Barbos rules based on the laws of the Empire. It is the Knight's duty to arrest those who break the law. I can't leave you and the others to do as you would, Harry. You need an excuse to do everything, don't you? That's what it means to be an Imperial Knight.
Defense is a good option. Your spear fighting is fluid and your footwork is amazing. I love watching you fight, Judith. Oh, it's my pleasure. Aren't all Critians more of the nerdy, scholarly type? More indoors than outdoors people? Yuri's anti-book comments aside, is it true that the Critia don't fight in battles? It seems most of us don't like fighting very much. So you're an exception? A weirdo among weirdos, then. How strange. I've always thought it was normal to fight someone who was threatening you. Yeah, true. Really? Is that normal? Sure, it's normal. Totally normal. Uh, I see. Training. I guess I'll go easy on them. There's still a lack of devotion. You're as stiff as ever. Ancient, but the top is new. It would seem someone built it onto a structure that was already here. I had no idea there were any towers in this area. I wonder when it was built. Well, judging by how new the top looks, I'd say it was pretty recent. Do you think Barbos built it? The Blood Alliance is one of the bigger guilds, but even they couldn't build something like this. Rago, he must have been putting up the funds. Hey, yeah, that would make sense. We still ain't any closer to figuring out why they built something like this, though.
Yeah, I beat you in the next week. 